hello, welcome to another video. Um, again, this is a bit like the last video whereby what you'll see, um, which in this case is me removing the, the windscreen, front and rear, front and rear, not rear. Um, they were meant for another video, which just to keep them short and um, educational in some respect. Um, they're cut up into these. So this video more or less is split into two parts um what in one video the first part you'll see how not to remove a windscreen um like i was demonstrating um because i, I because i could afford to because the windscreen on this was knackered anyway and i have a have a replacement so if i broke this one it wasn't such a um an issue um but then after that you'll see me remove the rear screen um which is a bit more well you'll see yourself i'm a bit more delicate because uh, i only have one of them and obviously the glass i don't think is laminated like the front is so it's fragile even more fragile than this um so yeah i'm gonna hand over now to um past michael and he'll take you through it Take it from a man who spent far too much money at Toyota um, buying back nuts and things that he's that he'd lost taken apart. When you take something apart, put it back on. But yeah, um, that's what I, want. I think these are under, um, 11 mil because I'm using the 12 mil. It's too. Big. Big enough, and then just get it under and start working the working the screwdriver back and forth. Lift straight off. There we go. Keep them there for the moment. Now doesn't matter about this getting cracked or anything already a little bit smashed and I got the replacement upstairs but that doesn't mean be gives you uh, carte blanche to be really dangerous with it not dangerous but careless he says as he throws it away I've cracked that.
don't think it's a requirement. But um, I don't think it's worth anything to keep forty-year-old, um, or at least forty-year-old um, window rubber. So cut it all along that. He says. Yeah, that's much better. <sighs> it's rubber gone. Now Well I don't know if you can see it, but Def there is a definite crack that I've made worse but then so there's a reason why if you have a chip on your windscreen like this is an MOT file because that cracks you lose well maybe not necessarily in an old car because it's not bonded but you lose 40% of the strength of the vehicle so if you roll over god forbid or anything yeah, you've got no protection really. So you can see here. That's where the main brake happened and it just spiders out then. So when I, before when I pulled it, tried to pull it off over there. With the screwdriver I did that. Which then creates a big crack that goes down here. It's also delaminating a little bit. Not that it matters, but yeah. In the bin it goes. So there you go. As you can see, it did come out, but not without cracking. Because like an idiot, I thought you could use a flathead screwdriver just to start it out, which you can't. Um, Stanley knives are much better. Yeah, Stanley knives. Um, so this is the next part um, and how I took and protected the um, the rear screen. Um, which really is the way you should go if you're in a case where you've got a classic car and you need to take the windscreen, windscreen or the rear screen out. So here's the back one. Um, there is no cracks to this and I don't have a spare. So learning what I did from the back one, um, got to be more careful um, than something that needs to be careful really that's not going to get me banned so yeah crack on so you use your screwdriver just to start start this off I know it doesn't look like it, but when I bought the car and it was on my mum's driveway, I measured the width of this garage by the front and the back 
so many times over 14 months. Looked at the book and everything to see how big, how wide this car was. And I thought, oh yeah, it fit. What I didn't appreciate was how small 30 centimetres actually is. So, but that's my issue at the moment. But we'll work with it. Work the problem. It's like these little clips. There's something snapped off. It's all right. Cool. The same as before. Lifting this up gently. Cutting into the rubber. Because the old rubber on the front wasn't reinforced. Like the... Um, Like what's around the uh, the the door frame? Okay. Just need to get it started. Oh, that is why you cut away from your kits. You don't. Unless you want to get stabbed. Here we go. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I can just turn this into a ladder van. And uh, instead of a see through back window, just have steel or pump hardener. That would be a good idea. Just weight and more weight saving. I heard a gurgling sound and I thought it was outside. It's not, it's the fuel tank. How do I know? Well, let's just say that I finally know what stale petrol smells like. All of this is soggy inside here, actually. Enough for that side. I don't think you want to pull the rubber. Just want to lift it up. which is uh it's easy find as long as you know roughly where it is um i'm just cutting away as i move the, the rubber back like that you also want to be careful well i suppose it doesn't really matter in this respect but obviously you need to be careful of the the um the paint with the knife
fair bit of dust. Oh, dirt, sorry. I think we can call that a win. I shouldn't have said that. Right, it's a call. Um, some another Canadian. YouTuber, you've got to piss with the cock you got. Um, so under here is um, some some bubble wrap. That's it. Couldn't find any. Um, but then I have this stuff, which is like it's all it is, just the fabric. And because um, before I got the car in, I um. And we're going into this lockdown. I uh, needed a chair, and I had a, a real battered old one that I took that was being thrown out. Um, and I reupholstered it, um, so I had something to sit on while I was working from home. But I bought more of this stuff than I actually needed, so um, yeah, and just gaffer tape. And that's it. So uh, I'll go in uh, later. Because I'm going to put this in from the loft so it doesn't get battered or anything. Um, but I'm put some bin bags in it over it, sorry, um, just so it doesn't get dusty and gives it some a little bit as much of protection as a bin black bin bag will give you. And that's it, that's the way you don't do it, and that is the way you do do it. Um, so yeah, one thanks again for watching. Um, if you if you found it helpful or you liked it please uh, like it and please cons consider subscribing to the channel if you want because there's plenty more of this to come as you can see um actually while i film this i'm filming another episode on um sorting out the holes of rust and um, cutting out and welding um bits of floor onto this ladder um so you you know you will want to see that um but yeah thanks once again and i'll see you again